Utah has the fourth most toxic chemical releases of any state. The most recent toxic release inventory report we have is from 2022. The report states that facilities in Utah released 181.8 million pounds of toxic chemicals into the environment that year. That's the fourth most of any state behind Texas, Nevada, and Alaska. Just down the hill from me is a leaching reservoir owned by Kennecott Utah Copper Corporation. And those two lined pools store wastewater from the Bingham Canyon mine, which is one of the largest open pit copper mines in the world and is a massive source of toxic chemicals. The copper producing mine releases millions of pounds of arsenic, lead, selenium, mercury, and other toxic chemicals every single year. And more than 80% of the toxic chemicals released in Utah in 2022 came from the Kennecott Copper Mine and Smelter, according to the EPA. According to Tammy Campo, who is a spokesperson for Rio Tinto Kennecott, the releases are safely stored in specifically sited, engineered, constructed, and permitted facilities. However, chemicals still make it into the environment. Dr. Brian Minch, president of Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment, told me, this is an operation that releases environmental toxins into the community and has done so for 120 years. The level of contamination steadily gets worse year by year. Many of the toxic releases by the Bingham Canyon mine are known carcinogens like arsenic, asbestos, cadmium, and nickel compounds. Lead and lead compounds are the mine's largest toxic releases, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warn that there is no safe level of lead in blood for children. Dr. Minch also pointed out that not only are these chemicals harmful by themselves, but they're harmful when combined. 